New here at 6 o'clock. Yesterday we reported about a decrease in opioid deaths in Knox County over the last month. Now we're learning that's just a tiny part of the bigger picture. The Knox County Regional Forensic Center just released its annual report. And despite a notable decrease in homicide and crash-related deaths in our region, two causes of death spiked last year. We talked about the first category at 5 o'clock. Suicide deaths went up by 30% in our region. The other problematic increase is a much smaller number. Overdose deaths went up 2% in 2022 compared to 2021. And while that sounds small, that's 544 overdose deaths here in Knox County. And I know you're only talking to 2%, but if you go back to 2019, there were 291 drug-related deaths. So from 2019 to 291 to now 544 in 2022, uh, that's still a major jump. Uh, population growth has affected that, and of course, just the number of, um, um, you know, the, the increase in homeless individuals, uh, that has become a, um, a huge source of locating individuals, so it was, that, that, that made it a little bit harder this year. Another troubling find, the Forensic Center notes a sharp 32% increase in drug overdose deaths in the 15 to 24 age group. We should note most of those overdoses are related to fentanyl, but another drug that we've talked about recently is climbing its way up as well. Knox County first recorded the presence of xylazine or Trank back in 2018 with five deaths linked to the drug. Last year, more than 70 were linked to Trank in our region. As we've told you, this drug is extra dangerous because unlike opioids, its effects cannot be reversed by naloxone. Now, if you or a loved one dealing with addiction issues, we want to let you know that there is help out there for you. You can receive free and confidential information by calling Tennessee's Red Line. The number on your screen, we'll read it off for you. It's 1-800-889-9789.